Hi everyone, I'm back in a dorm room. I, I never thought I would see the day. You guys probably didn't either. I'm gonna be 22 soon. I'm a grown ass woman sitting in a dorm room of a college that I don't attend in a state that I don't live in doing something that I can't talk about and we'll talk about very soon. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, how to feel like a sexy lady. <laughs> If you don't believe me, I didn't lie. I'm not lying to you. Okay, so you may have found my channel or my videos from a little series that I like to call, like to call, How You Can Too. I've done plenty of these How You Can Too videos and I never intended for those videos to blow up, but I'm so happy that people enjoyed them because I love making them. But then there came a point in time where I no longer had any advice to give. How could I preach how people can do something when I, I didn't even know how to get out of bed sometimes. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm finally getting back into the sling and the groove of things and feeling more like myself. And I feel ready to make this video because I realized while I made how I stopped hating myself and how you can too, how I stopped caring about other people's opinions and how you can too, how I dropped my toxic friends, how I manifested. While I made all these videos, I never made how I became the most confident person alive because look at me. I'm oozing with confidence, aren't I not? I, I put my face out on the internet every single week. That takes a certain level of confidence to do that. You, you have to like yourself at least a little bit, a little. And here's the funny thing about the title of how I became the most confident person alive and how you can too. I'm not the most confident person alive. Oh my God, shocker. But am I faking it? Yeah, is it working a little bit? Clearly you clicked on the video because you assumed maybe perhaps this little lady is actually very confident. Like she says that she is. Am I wrong? No, I'm never wrong. I'm always right, actually. I am a Virgo. Okay, checkbox made my one Virgo joke of the video. We can move on now. Before we dive into this video, make sure that you subscribe if you wanna be nasty, if not you're disgusting. Also make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. Yeah. Very good for the confidence. Like I said, I'm not in my typical setting and I wasn't gonna make this video because I was like, oh, I really, really want a beautiful background of like my bedroom and the pretty lights and the pretty plants and pretty everything. And I was like, Nicole, we're gonna do it makeshift style. You're in a dorm, we're gonna make do. Do you know what this is right now? This is a, a, a purple screen. I need reminders on my computer for me to do my nighttime routine. If that doesn't tell you where I'm at in life right now, maybe that tells you absolutely nothing. I wanted to talk about confidence today and how I became a confident person, or at least how I'm trying to become an even more confident person because I get a lot of assumptions that I am one or a lot of comments being like, make a video about confidence, Nicole. How are you so confident? I don't have the confidence to do these things. And it is a, such a work in progress. I am not a girl who had a lot of confidence growing up. I was very, very, very insecure and I still have a shit ton of insecurities. So let's talk about the number one tip that everyone hates that they receive when people try to give advice about confidence and it's Fake it till you make it. Listen, faking it is good sometimes. I would not be where I'm at right now if I wasn't playing pretend. I was listening to your mom Ashley's podcast the other day and she was kind of talking about college experience and her and her sister Amber were talking about when you go into college orientation, it is your one opportunity to be whoever you wanna be. You can just pretend that you are this very, very extroverted person. You can pretend that you are this person who's very, very creative. If that is something that you've always wanted to be and do, but you never had the confidence to do so in high school, you can pretend in that moment because nobody knows you. And while that is so so hard and so difficult. I've learned that forcing myself into some uncomfortable situations, I will clarify, forcing myself into some uncomfortable situations has actually benefited me so much. And I really do believe in that you are not really growing unless you are uncomfortable. I have never ever like grown while staying stagnant and in comfortable situations. However, when I put myself into uncomfortable situations and I force myself to be this confident being that I am not always, it, it actually works and I get a good outcome. Let me explain. There's a difference between uncomfortable situations where you're forcing yourself into a situation that's gonna leave you traumatized, is gonna be very, very uncomfortable. It's not something that you even remotely wanna do and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations that you want to do, but you don't feel the actual confidence that you can execute it. I will give you a small example. I have a really hard time speaking to men. I feel very, very afraid of a lot of men and it's really difficult for me to assert myself, addressing my needs as a human being to men, especially men in power. And so I would usually let things slide a lot of the time, like 
if I was inconvenienced or if I just didn't get what I needed or what I wanted, I would just let it slide. And now I'm actually forcing myself to be this confident person and building myself up and having the courage to step up to the plate and be like, no, Nicole, stand up for yourself, say what you need. Whether that's like in a public setting, like in the workspace, telling a man straight up, you cannot walk all over me. I need this by this deadline. Give it to me. This is me pretending I have an office job. However, practicing that and over time, it just builds your confidence that you can do it another time. And I think the cool thing about confidence is that it almost becomes like muscle memory. So once you kind of trick your brain into realizing, hey, I could do this thing one time, you realize you can do it again. So once you tell a man once what you need, you can tell a man twice. And then you can do it again and again and again. It's really cool. I also remember an act of confidence that I had was literally in high school when I never was in the high school plays or the musicals, but I always wanted to be so badly because I admired the kids who were able to do that. And I definitely didn't have the skills that I needed to go into it. And was I nervous to do an in-person singing audition in front of like 30 people? Yes, I was shitting myself. However, me practicing that I had the confidence to even go up and do that, it made me trust myself enough that I could do it again and do other things in my life unrelated to musicals and everything. I haven't done a musical again just because I haven't wanted to, but if I did want to, Perhaps I could. Legally Blonde, hit me up if you're back on Broadway. This all leads me to my next point, which is discipline. So I learned this little trick about discipline and how your brain basically trusts you or not based on how disciplined you are towards yourself. So like I do a semi good job at following orders when it's from others, but when it's from myself, I really, really, really struggle. So like I'm talking about if I tell myself that I'm gonna get off my phone at 6.30, 6.30 will come and go. It'll be 7.25 and I will still be on my phone. Or if I tell myself that I'm gonna get up at 6 a.m. for something, I'm just gonna let the alarm snooze. Like I will just, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let it pass. I am teaching my brain that I should not trust myself. If I have and make goals for myself and I write them down, I try my best to stick to them because I want to trust myself because I have completely, completely lost all trust for myself because I just wouldn't stick to any of my goals. I I'm an undisciplined little lady. I'm unruly. Another thing that's kind of closely related is the less that I lied, the better. So, never mind. I think a lot of people can relate to this, but when I was a little kid, I lied a lot and I don't know why. They were like stupid little white lies. And I got to a point very, very young, someone called me out on my bullshit and they were like, you lie a lot. And I was like, oh no, I really do. And at that moment, I promised myself, I am never gonna tell a lie again. Like I just hate lying. I'm just not gonna do this. And you might be like, Nicole, why would that make you a more confident person? That makes me a more confident person because I trust myself more. I know that I'm a reliable person. I know that people can trust me. I know that people can confide in me. And that is a trait about me that I really, really respect. And I love that about myself. So maybe if you similarly value honesty and loyalty, then you may also see the benefit of being a more confident person by lying less. I don't know, if you're a person who lies a lot, maybe you're very confident. <laughs> this is just irrelevant, but. Speaking less badly about others, it has made me a more confident person. There used to be a time when I was in like middle school and even high school, I talk shit. I talk shit about people, like, why? I don't know. Gossiping and being around the wrong crowd would bring out a really nasty side of me where I would just talk poorly about others and I don't like that about myself. I see no reason to speak badly about others and not speaking badly about others has made me more confident because there's usually correlation between people who talk badly about others and having low self-esteem. Why? Because if you're already feeling kind of shitty about yourself, you feel the need to bring someone else down. But if you're feeling pretty good about yourself, you don't really feel the need to bring anyone down. And I recommend if you are someone who talks shit about a lot of others, let's admit it, if you are one of those people, you can raise your hand. I'm not gonna see. I, maybe I can see, I don't know. And make it a goal for yourself to not talk shit about someone for one week and then make it two weeks and then longer and then ever. And see how much better you start to feel about yourself. Because I'm not so much worrying about what others are thinking about me because first of all, it's not my business what others think of me. But I also like to think positively about others and think they're not talking badly about me because I'm not talking badly about them. And that type of mindset has helped me not feel so self-conscious when I'm around others because I would be around other people and be like, oh my God, everyone hates me. Everyone here does not like me. Everyone hates me in this room. And now I don't feel that as strongly. I do sometimes, but that's just because 
I'm anxious. I don't have anything bad to say and I would hope that no one else would either. Thus, it has made me a more confident lady. Something that I've been working on for a very long time is trying to make decisions on my own. This affects your confidence so much you have no idea. I used to look for reassurance from everyone. I wanted everyone's opinion on what I was wearing, if I could buy something, what my outfit looked like that day, what, everything, anything and everything. I wanted other people's opinions and approval. And now I try so hard to be confident in my own decisions and my own opinions that I don't feel the need to ask for anyone else's. I know that me asking for people's opinions and approval of things before was coming from a place of really, really, really bad self-confidence because I felt like once again, I couldn't trust myself. I couldn't recognize who I was myself as a human being and what my needs and wants actually were. And so I relied on it from all the people around me. And while that can be good sometimes because if you have good people around you, they can definitely give you good advice. And you know, that's what people are there for around you to love you and support you and you know, try and help you out in times of need. But I shouldn't need advice on what I'm wearing to the supermarket. I should be confident enough at the age of 21, not 22 yet, but 21, I need to have the confidence that I can just do that myself. And I think others around me realize that I've been more confident because of that, because I stopped asking for people's opinions. It's something I still need help on sometimes because I am a person who needs a lot of reassurance. So I'm working on it, but that's the cool thing about confidence is that it's always a work in progress. No one is like 100% confident, Maybe Doja Cat, but that's it. And the last thing that I'll talk about on how I became the confident little lady that I am is that you genuinely have to let go of caring about what other people think of you. And this is kind of a tip that I give in almost all of my videos in the little How You Can Do series, but it is so true and it's way easier said than done. I completely acknowledge that. And hopefully all these tips will help you get to a point of not caring. But like I said, I'm a person who often seeks for a lot of reassurance and validation from others. And sometimes it can be really hard being on the internet because like, I am literally doing a career where it all relies on how much people like me. However, I had to get to a certain point and realize that the only person's opinion that matters about me is me because I have to live with myself for the rest of my life. Not the person that I meet at the grocery store, not my roommate from four years ago, not even a viewer of mine will be living in my little shell, my little vessel of my being is gonna have to live with me until the end of time. So I might as well really, really like myself and not care that much about what others think of me. And once you let that go, these doors will open for you and you will find this place of bliss and feeling enlightened that holy shit, why did I care for so many years? I said it in the video before, but I feel like it needs to be said again. It is not your business what anyone else thinks of you. It's ju it just isn't. <laughs> who cares what you dress like? Who cares what you do your makeup like? Who cares what kind of music you listen to? Who cares what you do your career path for? Who cares what you go to college for? Who cares who you end up with? Who literally cares except yourself? Are you happy? Great. Continue doing that. That's how you become a more confident person. Or, like me, the most confident person alive fake it till you make it. I hope that you guys like this video because I had a lot of fun making it. I really, really miss doing the little How You Can't Do series and I hope that my little makeshift 12 hours of solid neon purple lighting did the trick. If you're watching this video, when this video comes out, I'm currently doing something, I'm working on something, I'm a part of something that I can't talk about just yet, but I'm a little bit MIA, unfortunately, like no phone or internet access, but I will be back. So wish me luck. <laughs> if you like this video, please make sure you leave it a like because it helps me out so much. Also leave a comment if you have any tips yourself on how to be a more confident person. I'm sure other people in the comments want some more advice too. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be nasty if not you're discussing. Also make sure you bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you are gross. I say that confidently. If you want to follow me on my other social media like Instagram, Twitter, Depop, Spotify, it's just at Michelle Raffi. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, it's at Nikki Nasty. I'm going to go now. I'm going to go sleep on my college dorm bed and reminisce on the good old days. The good old days literally just ended a few months ago. Okay, goodbye. Oh, 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 oh.